Today, I wanna to tell you about the biggest tragedy I've ever had while making mead. Let's get started. So this video kind of sucks to make, quite frankly, because um, nobody ever likes to have something tragic happen, especially when it comes to mead, because normally it's a, a loss of some sort. And so this experience is, is humbling, um, but it still sucks. So what happened? Well, I have this 25 year mead that I want to create. So I got married and I, of course, wanted to do something special for that. And so I decided, hey, I'm gonna make a mead. So I bought a ton of expensive ingredients and stuff and made this very nice apple and pear mead. I made enough of it to get me, the goal is 25 bottles worth for um, 25 years. Open up a bottle at each anniversary. And I was making that mead, everything's going fine. And I made a really big mistake. My mistake was as I was moving said gallon, excuse me, five gallons of mead over into a new container. I put that container on an unstable surface. So I put it on a bucket. I should have flipped the bucket over, but in my lack of wisdom, I decided to leave it right side up. And um, well, let me just show you. So I've had a lot of time to process what happened and kind of dwell on it. I'm way less upset than uh, I was previously. But at that moment, I was distraught for lots of reasons. I was distraught because of course I just lost five gallons of very expensive mead I had was making. It was also my anniversary mead that I was making. So it uh, unfortunately, it, it's just tragic. I was also distraught because um, there's sugar, water, sh honey, mead everywhere all over in this room. And so I had to clean up, it took forever to clean that up. Now, why am I telling you this? I'm showing you this because one, I want you to see that I make some really stupid mistakes. That was an extremely stupid mistake and literally the most tragic thing I think I've ever done while making mead. So what's the lesson here? Lesson, I think there's two things two things. Number one, when you make mead and you're moving things over into a new container, please put it on a stable surface. Don't be like me and put it on an unstable surface um, and expect it to just work magically. Obviously I made a pretty critical error in that I didn't take and flip that bucket over. If I'd flipped the bucket over, I would still have five gallons of mead right now. So that's thing number one. Whenever you're racking, make sure you go from a higher to a lower surface, step one, but also a lower stable surface. And number two, if you make a mistake and you lose a mead or you do something, you break a hydrometer, anything that goes wrong in your mead making world, you can of course mourn the loss of whatever thing you lost there. Like I lost that, those very precious gallons of mead to me and take it as a learning lesson. I have unfortunately learned in the worst way possible, a very valuable lesson to always not only trust your gut when you are doing something, but rack carefully because things happen. It's kind of a weird thing because I don't like that I have to, that I'm making this video, but I also think the experience is something I will never forget. So that's my tragic story. I hope you will go and make some more mead, learn from your mistakes, um, because those mistakes are what will make you a better mead maker in the long run. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and cheers. <music>